Hi everyone, welcome to Ajoke's vlog. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ajoke. I am presently living in China and it's no longer a news that China is battling with the novel coronavirus, which some people call the Wuhan NCOV virus. It has spread to some countries like the US, like Japan, Thailand, Vietnam. We have recorded, according to the Chinese media and the WHO, that we have recorded um, quite a whole number of people who has been cured and as well has a good number of people who has scumbled to this virus and are now in the great beyond. And we give our condolences to the family of these people, especially the family of Dr. Lee Winliang. Now, a lot of people would have read about Dr. Lee Winliang on Wikipedia, on Google, on Twitter, and any other social media platform that has released the news of his person. In as much as we have a lot of gist, a lot of news, a lot of details and facts surrounding his death, I would rather respect the privacy of the chinese people at this moment and especially the privacy of dr win liang's family by not talking about the details of his death all i want to say is that a good man a great man a dedicated medical practitioner has passed on to glory and for this we are here as people myself and you to join the great number of chinese people citizens of the world global citizens to pay our respect to dr win liang and to give our tribute now whatever you are seeing from this video uh just a, a coming together of diverse information from what i saw online from what i read and i would want to give you a brief intro if you don't know who Dr. Wen Liang was, because now he is no more, he was, he existed. Dr. Wen Liang was an ophthalmologist at the Wuhan Central Hospital. He was 34 years old at the time of his passing. He was born on October 12, 1986, and he died February 7th. 2020 from the news given from the report given rather by the hospital he died early hours of february 27 i think around 2 38 or 2 58 a.m dr william has a wife a child and his wife is reported to be heavily pregnant as a time of his passing he has a master of medicine from the Huan University of Medicine. He was born in Liaoning province and he worked in Wuhan, the same city where he passed on. Dr. Win Liang, like all other people, medical practitioner in China at this time, has shown the world that no one person can make a wrong right and no one person can change the world it is a collective effort of people willing to pay the ultimate price people willing to give their best people willing to put others ahead of them we can declare dr win liang as a devoted person a person who believed he would survive this virus and then he has a determination to come back to the front line of fighting this virus but unfortunately he could not come back to fight the virus the virus had to take him away just like the nigerian hero dr adadevo dr adadevo too was at the front of the ebola virus she did a lot of things and then we had to lose her as a nation and as a global citizen to this same virus there are no two heroes no two heroes we just have a whole lot of them that did their thing that used their time up however short or a long period of time on the service of the herds to keep giving 
ever since I read about this that I was given to a lot of thoughts and I'm gonna share them before I share a tribute I saw online that got me in my feelings it eats me in the right places and I was going to read it to you and that is why I am here what is life to you is life just about you is it just about you about the benefit it comes with about your successes about your wins about your losses Look at Dr. Wen Liang. Even at the point of when he is battling with his own health, struggling to stay alive, he was still optimistic to come back to fight the virus and win. And I believe he is at the great beyond cheering on China, cheering on Wuhan and every affected country to victory. And which I believe that at the end, he would be so proud of China because at this point, I need to give a great shout out to every Chinese citizen across the globe. As in, I'm, I'm, I'm wild. I mean, the, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at the level of dedication, level of commitment the Chinese health personnel, medical personnel are putting into this we've had them we've had news of them walking around the clocks signing an agreement not to take a rest till this is over and i want to say that i stand with you the world is cheering you on everybody that do not know you that knows you we believe in you we are praying for you and we believe that this will be over and China would stand on its feet. Wuhan would feel better. Everywhere would be fine. We would be able to go out to relate, to celebrate, and also to pay our last respect to everybody we have lost to this virus. So I'm going to read this. I don't know who wrote this on the social media for dr wen liang but i'm just going to read i don't want to be a hero i still have my parents a pregnant wife too old and give me a child though my integrity cannot be exchanged for the goodness of others despite my loss and confusion i will still proceed anyway how many grievances do i have when this battle is over, I will look up to the sky with tears like rain and declare, we have won. Who would have ever realized that I was going to die? My soul is in heaven, looking at the white bed on which lies my own body with a familiar face. My, where is my dear wife, the lady I once had a hard time? chasing i do not want to go but i'm gone i see them taking my body putting it in a bag to be burned to ashes just a name to be remembered at done a compatriot fear the well fear the well god rest your soul dr william god rest the souls of everybody we've lost this year january has been a really really difficult time for the citizens of the world we've recorded losses people are going through difficult times trying to get over grief i hope you all ill i hope you all ill my prayers are with anyone battling with grief it's 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 gonna be good it's gonna be good and i know that our loved ones who passed on to glory are smiling down on us they want us to be fine and we will be fine have you taken a moment to think about your life the hatred in you jealousy envy unnecessary sadness that makes you feel life is not worth it selfishness if you die today 
if I die today? What would my memory be like? Will it be the land I was privileged to acquire? Will it be the children I would give my life to raise and at the end of the day, I had to leave them? Will it be a lover? Will it be certificate? Certificate. Certificate that I struggle to have to give myself a name, a title. But then, the moment I stop breathing, no one can use it. With time, it will turn to dust. <sighs> Memories, that's all will be left of us. What memories would your living leave behind? How would people talk about you? What impacts are you leaving? If not a global impact or national impact like Dr. William. The people around you, colleagues, co-workers, friends, strangers, neighbors, classmates would anybody hear your story hear your tributes listening to people talk about you and they will feel inspired to bless lives to touch lives we might not be a global <laughs> hero like dr win liang and dr adadevo we might not be a national hero but if you can influence your community, your environment, your circle, leave good memories, it will inspire a whole lot of people to stand and make the world a better place. Once again, our prayers are with the family of Dr. Wen Liang, his pregnant wife, his parents, friends, colleagues, and we hope that his memories would forever live with us inspiring us to be given to love to share to be just who we want to be god rest is so please do subscribe please do subscribe take a time to think about how transient life is God bless you. I love you.